Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. It's becoming pretty evident which uh, stocks to buy or which stocks to short uh, in this market. Now, this market is continuing to show sideways movement on the Dow. After trading lower on Friday, the Dow finally came back up and closed positive on the day. However, we're still in this sideways mode. We're still in a wedge formation. And even though the Dow is not moving with any specific direction, the NASDAQ, as you can see, after some sell signals up here, you had your shooting star, your uh, two dark crows. Now you've got kind of a bearish flutter kicker setup. So the doji on Friday makes it much easier to analyze what the market will do. If we wake up Tuesday morning and the pre-market futures are trading lower, remember the doji rule. The doji rule says the price will usually move in the direction of how they open after a doji. So very simple analysis. If they open lower on Monday, or on Tuesday, this downtrend is going to continue. If they open positive, not necessarily mean we're going up, but at least we know that we're in a sideways market. Same scenario on the S&P 500. After trading lower, uh, below where it opened on, on Friday, even though it closed above where it opened, it was still down on the day. So if it opens positive, we're still in this kind of slow downtrend. If it opens lower and starts trading lower on Friday or on Tuesday, we're coming back down to this the bottom of this channel and telling us this rollover is still in progress. So with that, you want to keep an eye on the lithium mining and battery sector. But last week, it looked like the oil stocks were going to come up strong, but they all failed after the buy signals. Now you want to be looking at going short because not only did they fail and roll over, but they're doing a bearish J-hook pattern. Friday, Valero gap down below the 50. You might take a look at these others. If they open lower, those are going to be confirming good sell signal uh, patterns. The sell signals, if this market goes lower, is being, uh, I want to say, emphasized by the strong selling. Notice the bearish kicker signal in ring. It did a doji on Friday. If it opens lower, which would be likely because of the stochastic still heading down, but also knowing that a bearish kicker signal of that magnitude says that there's a lot of selling pressure. So the implication would be there's still gonna be a lot more downside. Same scenario on Shopify. Notice how it gapped down, opened lower again on Friday. I would suspect the first target is going to be right in here. There's a gap to fill right at that area. If they don't hold the 50, they're probably coming back to test the 200. So the fact that they gapped down and did these strong bearish candlestick signals simply reveal that the magnitude of the selling is extremely strong it usually has a lot of follow through. Same scenario on team. You had a bearish kicker signal at the obvious resistance level, the 200 day moving average. When they closed up here and the next day they gapped down, that was a good indication. They weren't going up anymore. They came up, hit the target. And now with the uh, kicker type signal and a close below the T line and confirming on Friday, Figure your next target is down here. Simple analysis. If you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, you can stay long until you see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line. And if the sell signal is strong, like a bearish kicker signal, expect a pullback. This is where you can throw your Fibonacci numbers on to see what the retracement will be, see what moving averages might be the likely target, or anything else that you want to add on to your chart remember the strongest factor of a candlestick chart is the signals themselves so very simple logic 
You can stay long until you see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T line. If NVIDIA opens lower on Tuesday, you can still be shorting. Figuring it's coming back into one of these support levels. You can throw your Fibonacci numbers on. You can throw your Bollinger Bands, anything that would be a likely target on a pullback. On the other hand, and this, if the market remains weak, on Friday after the close, I guess there was talk between uh, Sigma Lithium and Tesla. The Tesla might be interested in buying them out so they have a consistent source of uh, lithium for their batteries. The, this stock went from trading lower to shooting up after hours. So and look at this one as a buy with probably you want to trading this one off your 10 minute chart. Watching to see what the investor sentiment is telling us about whether there is a deal between Tesla and Sigma. Now, that's going to start sparking interest in the rest of the lithium stocks, because if if this is kind of an alert to tell everybody there's a limited supply of lithium mining out there and that everybody wants to be swinging into the uh, electric vehicle battery sector, they might start uh, trying to lock in the supply of lithium by buying up these lithium mining companies. Also, QuantumScape. We've been following this one for quite a while. It's now in an uptrend. It did a bobble breakout on uh, Thursday of last week. They announced their earnings, which weren't great, but as a research firm, the earnings don't mean a whole heck of a lot. But the closer they get to production, meaning uh, completing their research on a solid state lithium battery, we're buying this for long term. It's safer to buy it when you know it's in an uptrend because they could announce one day that they're getting very close to now going to production. This is the type of stock that could be a 40, 80, 200, $300 stock because it's going to revolutionize the industry. So when you're trading for long-term investments, that's going to be a, a, a facet of knowing what the what's going on in a company and then seeing what's going on in the stock chart itself as far as what other people think is going on in that company. So this type of information is something that we put into the chat rooms every single day. We put out stock recommendations every uh, night, not so that people have recommendations, but can see in their learning process why that's being recommended, what type of pattern it's setting up. So we always invite people, come and join our two-week free trial. You'll be amazed at how much information you get in the chat rooms from traders that already are experience with candlestick signals and patterns. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.